them. Hey guys, it's Robert from Tall Guys RC. A bunch of you guys wanted me to make this video to show you how to jailbreak slash reset slash unlock a receiver so you can get the full benefits out of a receiver. So this is a brand new AR631 Spectrum receiver and this is the receiver that comes with the brand new Ultra Stick 1.1. Um, I've set up my ultra stick to have flapper on, so let me show you that really quick so you'll see something here. Let me plug in the battery. Hopefully this is charged. On my ultra stick, you'll notice that I have flaps. But these aren't just flaps their flapper on so if I uh, put the flaps down to like takeoff position you'll notice when I move the ailerons that they still move back and forth and you'll notice here too hopefully you guys can see this I still have AS3X and safe on this when you buy a brand new plane like the ultra stick here these receivers are pre-programmed from Horizon. And what I mean by that is channel one is throttle, of course. Channel two is your ailerons. And then, you know, three and four are your elevators and your rudder. Um, AX3X and SAFE is built into this receiver and they will only work on channels two, three, and four. It has nothing to do with really throttle. Channel 5 is normally your gear switch or on your radio that is the switch that flips it in to AX um, that flips it in and out of safe and then channel 6 you can use channel 6 and channel 6 is normally used if you want to split your uh, flaps or split your air lines to have two wires you can do that but the only problem with that is channel 6 has no AX3X and it has no safe on it and that's the way the manufacturer ships this receiver in the plane. So to unlock that potential, what you need to do is you need to do a couple things. You need, first thing you need to do guys is you need to head over to SpectrumRC.com or Horizon Hobby and order the USB cable. And I will put a link in the description where you can do that. USB on one side standard like servo lead on the other side and then you're going to need to download some software and then you're going to plug this into a windows based computer and you're going to plug in the servo lead to your receiver and then what you're going to do is you're going to reset the software so when you reset the software that eliminates the software me that eliminates the software that horizon has pre-bound to the receiver that is only for this plane and now it lets you program it any way you want to do. And then it also allows you to have safe on the other channels that are not pre-programmed to have safe. So to do that is pretty simple. As I said, the first thing you need to do is you need to get this cable. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to go over to Spectrum RC. And when you get to Spectrum RC, you're going to find the cable. And that is part number SPMA3065. And if you go to that part of the page, You'll notice there's a thing here that says PC download. So you're going to download the software to your computer. And then once you've downloaded the software to your computer, and again, you'll notice here it doesn't show Apple anywhere. This is only, to my knowledge, only good on uh, Windows-based computers. So you're going to download the software. And then once you download the software, let's get out of here, it's going to create an icon on your desktop called Spectrum Programmer right here. You're going to open up that software. And you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Now, to hook up the receiver to your computer again, plug in the USB cord. And then plug in the other end the cable to your receiver under the um, the bind plug adapter. Plug that in here. 
and then just set your receiver on a flat surface. Then what you're going to do, and this is the fastest way I found to do that is, you're going to need to go up here where it says connect and it says power cable. You're going to click on that. And it'll say on here, to ensure your computer is not damaged, make sure there's no battery hooked to the receiver. So my receiver is just sitting here on the table the way it is with nothing going on. And I'm going to hit power cable. And then it's going to say on here, the model settings on this device do not match the one on the computer. So this is what you'll normally get when you're plugging in a new receiver. So the best thing to do is just click on where it says new device settings. And then you're going to come over here to where it says software update. This will check the software that is on the receiver, the preloaded stuff from Horizon Hobby. And what you want to do is just click on where it says install another version. You'll notice there's two versions of the software here. There's version 2.38.5 since December 21st, 2020. And there's also a 2.378. You want to use the top one. That's the newest one. And you want to read through these. And then just go down here to the bottom where it says update. And you'll notice the receiver here, the light came on the receiver and it's blinking. It's just overriding all the software to give you a clean version of the software. It says updating device. And it says this, the, the device was successfully updated and we're going to hit OK. And then just close everything. Now, once you've done this, and you can disconnect now the receiver from the USB adapter, disconnect the cable. Now, this receiver looks like you just bought it in the store. There's no planes on it. There's nothing. It is a completely blank receiver. Now that you've done that, let me kind of show you what's kind of cool about this. So now, when you put this in your plane, or again, you can do this to a receiver that's already on the plane if you want to just clean it out and start fresh and, and change your settings. So I'm just showing you this way so you understand how to do this. So now let me plug in this receiver to a battery and some other things so I can actually show you now what has changed on the radio. Okay, so I've already bound this receiver to my radio. So what I'm, let me show you something here, very interesting. Now on the radio, with the receiver flashed and uh, jailbroken and reset and uh, unlocked and things like that, let me show you what's kind of cool here. So now when you go to forward programming, now you'll notice there's two menus here. One that says gyro settings and other settings. And check this out. Under other settings, now you have a receiver that has nothing on it. It says fail safe. Initiate receiver bind, frame rate, you can factory reset it again if you choose to. You can restore a backup, and what that means is actually is your receiver, when you get it, has a version of the plane on it. If you do a factory reset, it does hold it, so if you want to put it back, you can do that if you make a mistake. But otherwise, let's go to other settings. Go back here. We're going to do gyro settings now. You'll notice when I went to gyros on this, and this is something that you won't see when you first do this plane new. It says first time setup. So you got a first time setup, and it says make sure the model has been configured, including wing type, reversing, travel, time, etc., everything like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to install all the correct wires. You're going to do everything you need to do to make this plane to hook up the plane that you want to. So example of that would be. And this is actually page seven of the manual for the brand new Ultra Stick 1.1, like the plane in front of us. And you'll notice here it says flap options. It says the, ba the basic recommendation for the transmitter setup of the Ultra Stick uses a Y harness. And the airline servos do not offer flaps. So to do flaps, you go over here to the first one and it says two wing servos. That means you're going to use two independent. Uh, wires, you're going to do one from channel 2 and you're going to do one from channel 6. It says independent servos extension for each of the airline servos. 
creates flaperons. Now to do the flaperons, as you guys know, when you go in on your radio and you're doing model types, you want to click on where it says flaperons. And then you'll notice here, and this was a precursor to what I did, it says does not work with bind and fly receiver programming. To use a bind and fly receiver, it must be reset with a PC and the cable I showed you. So it tells you in your book what you need to do. So we've already done everything they told us to do. So when we now go in on the radio, <clears throat> and it says they've done everything here. And it says any wing tail type channel assignment it tells you just it walks you through this. It's really simple. It tells you what to do. And then it tells you here, set the model level and press continue. So what it's going to do is it's going to, I'm not going to show you all this, but it's pretty simple. It's going to walk you through everything like this model has never been flown or programmed. It's going to tell you the level of plane. It's going to tell you to put it on the nose. It's going to tell you everything. It's going to set up a brand new AX3X profile and a brand new safe profile. So you can do things like I showed you. You can do when you're doing the evil, um, flap runs. You truly have flaperons with SAFE and ESC. So guys, I hope this video helps. It's not hard to do. You just, as I said, you have to have the USB cable. You have to have a account with SpectrumRC.com. So you have a profile so you can go in and reset your receiver. And then once your receiver is reset with the software that you download, this plane now becomes a whole new plane. So if you want to do... As they're showing you, even on the, the deluxe setup here, if you wanted to do flaps, you wanted to do um, independent ailerons, but you also want to have AX3S and SAFE, you can do that. So that's how you do it, guys. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun. Open up that receiver so you can do more cool things with your planes or you can program it to maybe ways that you wished you could fly. And now you can because you have an open receiver. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Have a great week.